and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a mitered corner. The best example where you would find a mitered corner is on a patch pocket. So here we've got a sharp edge and there's no bulk and what happens on the underneath is the bulk is actually removed and that is what is called the mitering technique. Before you do any stitching you're going to need an ironing board and a iron. The next step is to put crease marks where you want the corner to be. So you fold over and press that crease in. You fold over the next corner, next edge, same amount and press. So that's your second crease line. We need one more because this is the bulk that we want to get rid of. You open out the edges and you bring this corner, see where they actually intersect there, is where we need to fold this corner over towards the center of the corner there. And then get your iron and make another crease. I'm now working on the wrong side and um, this is where you need to start this technique on the wrong side. I've done the first crease line, the second and the third one which is a smaller of the crease lines and this is where the, the mitering is going to happen. So you then get the corner here, I'll just mark those so you can see that corner and this one here. So we're going to be pulling that forward, those crease lines and then we're going to match those lines up. I'll just pull the work like so, making sure those markings are matched up and then I'm going to put a pin to keep that in place. And the next thing that's going to happen is that you're going to sew a straight stitch line to that point here. For stitch, I'll just remind you that the top here is where the actual point was, the intersection of both the edges and here is a smaller crease line where I've indicated there and we're going to sew from that point to this point. It's just a straight line stitching. Bring that out. Put my pin out as I go and reverse. Seems done. Now the next thing I need to do is to cut this bulk away and I'm going to be cutting it about three millimeters away from that stitch line. So this is what we want to get rid of and I'm working on the wrong side so I'm now going to be pulling that through and here is your mitered corner and if I just get Turn it around this way. A knitting needle, just a blunt tool, just to gently get that sharp edge happening right at the point. You now have your mitered corner. So this is what it looks like on the wrong side. And your mitered corner is now beautiful on the right side. A mitering join is all about getting a sharp edge to that corner and removing bulk to give you that professional look to your garment. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.